All right, that was one uh, really close and really exciting match, uh, at least close for a while there. Uh, there was some really interesting tactics, particularly to begin with. Absolutely. Hunt Reloaded put all of their assault frigates right at the start at the uh, zero on the beacon and therefore essentially used them as a as a shield against the, uh, against the incoming damage. And they managed to slow down the Godfather stream just long enough to claw the DPS race and, and, and pull a victory. And the other thing that I think that the Hun did right was primarying the Hurricanes before the Brudix. The Brudix don't have damage selection to choose from. They knew their Basilisk would tank better against the Brudix damage, as I think Brent pointed out. And so get the Hurricanes off the field first, and by doing that, it maybe allowed their Basilisk to live just a little bit longer and give them time to break through the whole team. Yep. I'm of the opinion that in almost all cases, warping at zero is a terrible choice. Uh, you just, if you don't know what you're going to come up against, warping at zero will get you in so much trouble. And it's not a huge time difference from warping at one of like warping at 20. Like you can, you can close the distance normally pretty strongly, but like if you warp in at zero against the wrong thing, they can completely obliterate you. Well, and, and they can hold you down too. I mean, yeah. kind of a Madden scream would be good here, but like to be able to fly around the zero, you know, you fly, warp in at 20, you can kind of starburst around the tackle and maybe three of you get by. Mm -hmm. And that allows you to get back to the more vulnerable ships in the back. Whereas if you warp to zero, they warp the tackle of zero, you're stuck and that's yep. it. Unless you want to be in trouble, of course. Right. Yeah. Unless you want all your freaks to well, get burned down while you're I there. actually always warp to zero because trouble's my little man. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> It's the only value to warp to. All right, well, that was an exciting match. Uh, some really good piloting. Uh, exciting to see Hunter loaded on to the next stage. Uh, sad, of course, to not see uh, Godfathers, but such is life. Uh, we do have uh, one more match coming up. It's Angela Mortis uh, versus End of Life. And then we have a break, and then we go into uh, more exciting matches, 12 more exciting matches. Um, Angela Mortis, End of Life. It's two alliances that I'm not that familiar with. Uh, any tournament experience? I don't believe so. All I know is that uh, Mortis and End of Life, they sound like they, uh, they maybe theme themselves. It's a duel to the death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 One, I guarantee you that at least one team will die. That's, uh, that's a, a strong prediction. Uh, all right, so uh, we do have the Godfathers out. Uh, they did really well. They were a Sina Thomas team, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what did they run in the uh, New Eden Open? That was their... They ran a, a, a wide variety of things. Yeah. Like they're, so the Hun is actually the team that's known for picking one thing and running it through a whole They turn. ran the golems, right? They just ran the golems and no, just said... No, uh, Vargas. Vargas, sorry. Yeah. Uh, they ran trip Vargas all the way to the finals yep. and uh, shaved my mustache off yeah. in the process. Yes. Um, <laughs> Asina Thomas ran the golems. Hmm? I, I believe Asina Thomas... Asina Thomas ran. may have ran golems, yeah, but they, they so. ran a variety of setups. Yeah. Uh, because uh, the, actually the New Eden Open was the very first time we showed off a best of series. Yes. Uh, rather than a single match to decide the finals. We had a best of series. We've actually moved that over to Alliance Tournament 11. And I think it's going to provide really interesting meta shifts as teams counter and recounter throughout that series. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. That's something we do in the SCL as well for the later stages, and it's really fantastic. It makes some great matchups when a team goes down, you know, the first match and they have to make a comeback and it can go to three. It just gets really tense, so it'll be a lot of fun. Yep. It can get very long as well. That's yeah. true. <laughs> One of the SCL matches um, oh, or weekends, God. actually, Gubbins are. Uh, Team captain was was literally crying. Um, <laughs> uh, he wanted to go to bed, and he said, "Will we not just run a comedy setup just to get yeah. out of here?" But yeah. no, the well, team made him run a proper setup. If we want to talk about long matches, uh, actually, we have a whole new mechanic that hasn't been in the SCL or the yes. New Eden Open. Yes. Well, we did was invented in the SCL. We just didn't get to use it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, so, and many teams are actually really excited about this. Mm -hmm. So, in Alliance Tournament Eleven, if the teams go to time, the match lasts ten minutes and uh, they uh, are tied on points. The match extends into overtime. During that overtime, we use our time dilation system normally used to prevent lag on TQ uh, to speed up time up to 7.5 times the speed of the online. Uh, uh, so you're moving 7.5 times than you normally would, modules cycling 7.5 times as fast as they normally would, and then we run that until a team dies. It's incredibly difficult to pilot at that speed, but also incredibly exciting. If that runs and neither team can break a single ship, uh, it comes down to that red attack bar. Whoever entered the arena with the largest attack bar was most going in for the kill. Uh, we roared the win to that team because at that point, uh, the match would just stalemate for forever at that if it goes like that. All right, exciting. Uh, we do have Angelia Mortis and End of Life ready. Uh, do you have any predictions? I'm going to go with the team that refers to death in their name. Oh, are you trying to play both horses here? No, uh, I'll go with uh, Angelia Mortis. I'm going to go with End of Life. I'm tired of Latin names. I'll just do that. <laughs> I'll go with 
and jelly mortis. I think I will as well. <laughs> They're a wormhole alliance, and uh, I do tend to like the wormhole dweller. So, and jelly mortis for me. <laughs>